Okay, today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to clean um, an optical mouse. We're going to need a few different things. We're going to need a Q-tip. We're going to need some isopropyl alcohol. I keep this in a nice spray bottle, um, but you can also just dip it in there, put it in a, a little tray or something like that. And of course we're going to need our optical wheel mouse. Um, the optical wheel mouses, um, they have a little laser inside there, and that's what actually um, it, it measures the distance and the speed um, that you go, and that's how it decides um, where it's going to be at on the screen. Um, these little pads here get dirty, as do the little lens inside there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and clean this off. We're going to show you um, how to get everything clean here real quick. We're also going to need some um, some sort of wipe. Um, for the outside part, I use Clorox disinfectant wipes. Um, they work great just to clean any exterior surfaces. Um, it's not anything you're going to want to get inside the mouse, but for these little uh, marks here like this, it'll work great. So we're going to start off by getting a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on our Q-tip. I just uh, wet the end a little bit and that'll help you um, get some things clean. The first thing we're going to do is clean the little feet down here. And sometimes they get a lot dirtier than this. Um, mine is fairly clean. But sometimes they do get pretty dirty. And you're just going to go one by one and clean off those little feet. And then I'm just going to get any visible dust that I see uh, with the alcohol here. And alcohol should dry fairly fast. Um, it's probably the best uh, cleaning agent for electronics, things like that. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the other side wet. And I'm just using the back of my hand to keep it from splattering um, everywhere else. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put that inside there. Inside on the lens. And don't press too hard. Um, the goal here is just to um, get any junk that may be on the lens and just make it glide smoother. Um, we don't want to scratch the lens, so don't press very hard, just kind of do it gently. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our one of our alcohol wipes. And we're just going to remove it out of there. We're going to take our mouse. And we're going to wipe the entire thing off. And you can actually see the light shining through on that so you can see that laser and how that goes through. Um, a lot of them, they'll dim when they don't have an ac any activity and when you see it move, it'll get a little bit brighter. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to make sure it's all clean. Make sure we get all the gunk off nice and good. And then we're just going to take a uh, a dry towel, or dry something to dry it off, and we're just going to dry that off real quick. Making sure you also get this little roll ball here as well. Just 
just to get everything nice and clean. And then I'm also going to just use my fingernail uh, to get up underneath the cracks here. Um, if you have a, a toothpick, that would work great as well. I'm just going to get up underneath the cracks on there. And you'll see the dirt kind of coming out from in between. And also little cracks in between the wheel here as well. Not all mouses have a wheel. Um, yours may not, but you can see inside there's, there's a lot of dirt in there. Um, so toothpick is really going to help you out um, as far as that goes. Um, I have um, a little bit of fingernails. I just haven't um, cut them in a while so that I'm able to do it with my fingernail. And then we can also get the sides here as well. You can kind of see some dirt in there. Yeah, you can even see it. It came directly out. And we can also use the Q-tip again to get this wheel. And then maybe one more wipe with our cloth just to make sure we get all the extra stuff that we, we pulled out of there. Then we'll dry it off one more time. And there you have it, a uh, nice clean mouse, um, disinfected. Um, there, might, there might be some small things left over there which you can probably get with a toothpick. Um, I just don't have any on me, um, but that'll get those as well. All right, well, thank you guys for watching another H2 video. Um, the process is a little different if you have one of the older style ball mouses. Um, there aren't a lot of those around still, but I can definitely go ahead and show you guys how to do those as well. Um, I'll do that in another video. Uh, thank you guys for watching another H2 video, and you guys have a great day.